Splash and the soldier of the game spitter, that was a weak mood, Jay Stash. So why would you put yourself in a situation to crash out when you got a rap career and you got the potential to become successful? But you was too weak for that lifestyle. You was too weak for a lot of things that you love to do, that you love to like, that you love to love. Yeah, you too emotional. You always crying. You can't take in the same pain that you dish out. You too weak for the women that you fall in love with, the women that you're attracted to. Strippers, ex-strippers, OnlyFans stars and stuff like that. You too weak for women like that. You ain't got no business falling in love with women like that. But they'll date you because they see how weak you is. And they can get pregnant by you and get free child support because you're a sucker for love. You know what I'm saying? So they see the weak in you, but they just didn't know that you got a little evil side, that you'll crash out, that you'll flip. But how couldn't they know that when you was beating their ass? But they just didn't think that you'll snap, you'll pull a trigger on her, then pull a trigger on yourself, especially in front of four kids, three kids. I mean, oh, okay, that's right. After you put your hands on them, you'll cry more than they do. Yeah, snot's coming out your nose and everything. Then you expect for them to have sex with you. Yeah, then you'll cheat too. So she ain't think you'll do the things that you just did, especially in front of her kids. She'll think you'll cry like you used to. You a pout. But it was the things that she was saying to you that made you snap like that. Whether it's exposing that you put hands on her, that you cheated, and it could block some deals or take some deals from you. So that break you down. Just like the last one, when she exposed it and you lost a couple of deals and stuff like that, you might lose this venue. You might lose this commercial, this company, this beer company, this clothing line. You know, a lot of different things that you'll lose business with if she come out and say you put hands on her and she got a lot of following. You see what I'm saying? And her following gonna believe it. And then Shade Room pick it up and Ball Alert pick it up. You see what I'm saying? Say Cheese, Academics, Vlad, they pick it up. Now, only thing you can do is really count on features and you don't really get a lot of them and show money. And you probably don't really get a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? You might could do some things overseas or do something here and there. But, you know, her coming out, another woman, they keep saying you beating women. Ain't nobody going to want to stand next to you as far as like no company. So, with that keep re-entering your jacket, you ain't going to be able to make no money. Not no new money. You ain't got no big hits like that that'll make companies look over that though. So, it's going to crush you. And, you know, you start crying and saying you're going to kill yourself and you're going to kill everybody. You'll kill this one. And you just snap. You just flash up. I'm tired of this, man. I'm tired of these females having control over my life. I'm tired of everybody having control over my life. The fans, my family, my women, my baby mama, my girl, everybody, my manager, my lawyers. Everybody got control over my life but me. But me. That's what you be saying. That's what you be screaming. And the only thing you can't do. The only other power that you got where you feel like you can gain control of and you can put power in your own hand is this right here. But you ain't crazy. You weak. Yeah, I can't give you the crazy title. Uh, you ain't crazy because if you was crazy, you wouldn't have killed yourself. Yeah. Only way you would have killed yourself, it would have been suicidal by a cop, not by yourself. Nah, you ain't crazy. The only crazy I know is we talking noise. We making noise. 504 boy playing with the big toys. And you ain't crazy, Jay Stash, and you ain't crazy. I remember when you first smacked your ex in 2019, 2020. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't crazy. You just weak. And all the weak goes to hell. Yeah, Satan take all the weak. Yeah, because Allah ain't going to want you. Jesus ain't going to want you. Buddha ain't going to want you. None of the top tier gods going to want you. The only person, the only mankind, none of the trap gods on earth, none of the gods on land going to want you. So the only God... That'll take you, that'll take your application real quick with the quickness. It's Satan. Yeah, you just more wood to the fire. Yeah, that's all you is, is a log that's going to get thrown in the fire. They keep adding on, feeding the fire. Yeah, that's all you is, is wood to Satan. A weak piece of wood. That's all you is, and you burn. You burn. It had to be something that woman could bring to light that you was ashamed of, or that can destroy your career it had to be something so it was either like i said with the abusive relationship and she exposed that for the second or third time different woman or 
could have been, yeah, you could have been messing with one of them boys. Mm -hmm. You could have been messing with one of them boys. You ain't pick one, you ain't have one of them boys in your car, she find out, huh? Yeah, you ain't want the world to know that. It had to be something to make you just flash out. It can't be just because you got caught cheating. That's another thing. You a cheat, but then you expect your woman not to cheat or your women not to cheat when you do the same thing. And then you be dating women that's in that lifestyle. So you can expect a little cheating here and there or like be cool with an open type relationship because that type of lifestyle going to bring it anyway. So you already knew you weren't man enough to date them type of women. So why not get you a nice little college girl? But nah, you don't deserve no college girl because you're too weak for that. Because you'll be just putting your hands on that. You'll find another reason to smack her. You get mad at her because she getting frustrated because you always gone and you don't bring her along or you don't spend enough time with her or whatever. You know, you'll put your hands on her, then you'll sleep with her. You got to be kind of retarded anyway because you'll be the woman to a bloody pope and then you can still get hard and want to sleep with her. Yeah, I heard what you said. Yeah, you beat up the girl, the girl start pushing on you and then you slept with her. Yeah, so if a female all bruised up or you are bruised up, you still want to have sex? Oh, yeah, let me find out you like Ted Bundy. Let me find out you be watching Ted Bundy interviews and learning. Yeah, because he's the one who can beat women and still have sex with them, still get a hard on so yeah yeah that's that's kind of a little sick there busted eye busted lip blood all over your face and you still can get hard and still want to stroke and still go to sleep with her and wake up and go to paris you know what I'm saying? i can see a little smack a little push down you know what i'm saying but not you know what i'm saying busted eye busted lip busted nose god damn it, blood everywhere you know what i'm saying she got bruises all over her body <laughs> and all that uh and i ain't talking about moaning I'm talking about pain. And you still can just stroke. Go on, man. So, you know what I'm saying? So they ain't really the thing to do unless you, you. That's the only way. You got to be you. Jay Stash. Jay Week. I don't know how you get the name Jay Stash. Jay Week. Yeah, that's what your name is. Jay Week. Jay too emotional. Jay too weak. Jay can't call itself no man. Nah, not no alpha male. You a beta male. You a beta male looking for alpha male results, but you too weak to get them type of results. You ain't gonna make your woman submit to you like a woman will submit to an alpha male. Not you, because your name Jay Stash. You know what I'm saying? You too emotional. Why you couldn't take your anger out in that booth and make a hit record? Why you couldn't take your anger out on stage and give a great performance? And that would upgrade your pay, your music pay. And it would upgrade your females. It would upgrade your lifestyle because you would have been putting in the work. That pain music, that anger music can turn into hits sometimes. Can turn into street anthems sometimes. More shows, more features, more women. You could have replaced that woman if she hurted you like you did the last one. You know what I'm saying? The type of women that you like. You like strippers. Only fan females. So it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them that's single. It's a lot of them that like beta males like you. They'll use you like a Q-tip. Yeah, they'll use you like a Q-tip on both sides and throw you away. But, hey, you go get another one. You make another hit record, you go get another woman. Get you two of them. No, get you two of them. Two for two. McDonald's used to have a two for two back in the day. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is in the 90s. They had the two for two. Upgrade your lifestyle. Then you enter a new door of females because that's what you love. That was one of your downfalls. You love females, so just keep working. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can't do that there because the weakness will kick in. The weakness will take over your work ethic. It'll take over the music. It'll take over your dreams, your goals. You know what I'm saying? Then you'll start putting your hands on a woman when you're a king. Yeah, well, you was a king. You know what I'm saying? You a black man and all that there. You forgot all that there. You got a mama, a daddy, a family that love you. You forgot all that there. You forgot Jesus rules. You forgot Allah rules. Don't try to talk about you don't believe in nothing. How you don't believe in nothing, but you believe evil. You let your weakness take over your strengths and your legs to walk outside that door. You took the strengths out of your fingers to call a ride to leave 
to call a Uber to leave. Dog, come pick me up. Dog, come get me. Somebody will come pick you up. You J Stash. How wouldn't they pick you up when you J Stash? You wasn't in the middle of nowhere. So the weakness took over everything. Took over everything in your body, your soul, everything. Your mind, everything. But it gave you one little power. One little thing left. And that was this right here. It didn't take the power out of this. And that's all you had left. You know what I'm saying? Your eyes and this right here. And you definitely put this to work. You put this to work. And now them three kids got to remember you. They got to remember the yelling, the arguments. You know what I'm saying? When they think of their mama, you know, they always going to remember yelling and pow. Yeah, they also going to remember when she said, I love you and I ain't going to never let nobody hurt you and stuff like that. She was right because you didn't hurt them. You didn't hurt the kids, so she didn't fail as a mother because you didn't hurt them, so she didn't fail. But you failed them, taking her out the game for no reason. Yeah, it wasn't for no reason. I mean, it's always for a reason, but it wasn't it ain't approved of. It definitely ain't approved of. Not in the court of law, not in the court of the streets. Now, Satan, it is approved with Satan. Nah, I can't lie. It was approved with Satan. Satan proud of you. Satan proud of you. You know what I'm saying? You down there. I told you, you the law that got put in the fire. So, he the only person that's proud of you. That's on earth. That's in the afterlife. He the only person. So, it is what it is in this situation. That's my take on this conversation right here, man. Come.